Dripping in the Neverborn, and one of the, the favorite models that come out yep. of Gen Con, Titania. I, I also, another history lesson for you, if you guys ever got one of the original Fate decks, Oh yeah. Titania was the Red Joker. Yeah, the uh, the the black winged angel with the tears. Which I just picked up one of those fake decks. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I can't wait. I'm gonna start using it soon. Yeah. Um, so the first box to sell out of Gen Con. I mean, oh really? I don't know if it's the only one, but yeah, first one to sell out because even people that weren't playing her are just like, oh my this god, everything, beautiful. It's everything beautiful. Everything in this model. box is so beautiful. Yeah. It's yeah. That probably the least interesting is the 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 uh, the totem, but. Uh, Everything the else minions is, are the most. Oh, yeah, they're really yeah. beautiful. So, let's go into Titania. Yep. Uh, the Fae Queen. The Fae Queen. She has a cash of four. She's a master, undead, yep. and she has the Fae keyword. Um, she's defense five, willpower seven, 12 wounds, a walk of five, a charge of seven, and height two. She yep. has impossible to wounds, flight, um... The Thirsty Roots, which enemy models within six that begin their activation in base contact with one or more scheme markers friendly to this model must succeed on a target 13 willpower duel or suffer two damage that may not be reduced. So wait. So so if you... Enemy models that are in base contact with her scheme markers, yep. they must make a 13 power will willpower duel. Or they suffer two damage. Yep, basically she brings her scheme markers to their life to attack you. Uh, interesting. Uh, rejoice and rebirth. When another model places a scheme marker within six, this model may heal two damage. With, it doesn't have to be a friendly, it can be a friendly or an enemy. Right, as long can, as a scheme marker is placed. Oh my god, so like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm about to, oh Jesus, I took a, a Red look, Joker. Okay, let's let's do uh, uh, emergency button, guys. Everyone, drop scheme markers to heal me back. Well, the thing is, all of her minions uh -huh. that come in the box—the three, the thorn, the—they have triggers to drop scheme markers oh, okay. as part of their attacks. Oh man, so so pretty much this is a good I way mean, to try to keep her alive. Right, combined with twelve wounds and, and impossible, impossible to wounds, wound. Yeah, and and that way of healing, yeah, she's got pretty good. Uh, um, she has a one. Uh, so now to her attack action, she has Wicked Silence. Place a scheme marker in base contact with target enemy model, then the target suffers two, two damage. And then, uh, uh, oh sorry, it's casting six with a uh, mask built in, it's resistible power, and it's range mm -hmm. two. Uh, with a double mask, a Whisper of Bone, after succeeding, push this model up to four. Mm -hmm. So it has the ability to, with Thirsty Roots, Right, you're gonna you're gonna punch you're gonna hit them for two damage or put a scheme marker, mm -hmm. and, and then the they thirsty mess. roots could force them to take another and check and to and deal two da additional two damage. Right, and then I believe she does place a scheme marker so she doesn't heal off her own. Yes, but yeah, yeah. So that's and then really that's her secondary attack. I'd say mm -hmm. her other is her probably primary, but that is a good way to just punch somebody. Yeah, uh, or finish them all off. You know, right, exactly. Uh, Bloody Command. Uh, this is a cast of six with the mask built in. It's range eight or melee two. Uh, target model suffers two, three, four damage. And then with the mask, which is built in, before flipping damage, discard up to two friendly scheme markers within two. And let a sight of the target to deal plus one damage for each scheme marker discarded. So her damage spread, if she discards two scheme markers, so can go up two. to four, five, six damage right. spread. That's if two scheme markers, which is pretty nice because she's generating. Es especially when you look at the way she can generate them and her, her crew, her crew generates them. She's got a lot of, yeah. Um, so then she gets another trigger with a crow's my loyal subject. After succeeding, target other friendly model within four of the target heals two, two, three damage. So if you if you hit a model with this, and let's say it's just okay, I just need to do two damage to kill a model. All right. Or um, even just to yeah. blink them, yeah. Yeah, just to give a model a, a healing flip. Pretty nice. Uh, and then with a uh, Rams, deal with him. When damaging, reduce the damage to zero. Another friendly model with an eight and line of sight of the target m may push into base contact with the target and then take a one attack action against it. 
Uh, uh, imagine... Nakima. Exactly. Titania's <laughs> just like, deal with him. And so Nakima pushes into... Pushes eight and... Or just, Teddy, or... <laughs> yeah, like never, Neverborn and beater models? Like... <laughs> or even just her seven-point minions she starts with. Mm -hmm. Like, the goer likes having minions around. Yeah. Really nice. Um, and then... So now we're going to go into her tactical actions. She has a zero, a new harvest. Uh, six with a mask built in. Me need a target number 13. Any move models within six must pass a target number 12 willpower duel, or this model may place a friendly scheme marker in base contact with it. Raise the target number of the willpower duel by one for each crows in this model's final duel total. That's really weird, right? Because like, she doesn't have it built in. So, so, so she... The, the card itself can be cheated in, and she can stone for another. So you can... Bringing it from 12 to 13, or even 14. Oh, no, for, not for the target. Oh, for the target yeah. number? No, increase the... Uh, oh, yeah, raise yeah. the target number. To so okay. it's hard, it starts at a target number 12, mm -hmm. and she can go easily to 13, and possibly even to 14. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, it depends how many models. If you're going to affect one or two, maybe not worth it, okay. but if you've got like your entire enemy crew yeah. in that bubble, you're going to be like, all of you, really high! Mm -hmm. And what is it? But in the end, it only uh, it only plays as scheme markers. So yeah. you're going to need other uses. However, it's a zero action that plays as scheme markers, giving her more for blow the bloody command. Yeah. So, so surrounding her with models is not necessarily the best idea. Mm -hmm. She's going to get more scheme markers, which means she's going to do more damage, which means, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, then her other tactical action, the queen has risen. Cast of six with a built-in mask and a target number 13. Discard between one and three scheme markers within six. Push target-friendly model up to two for each marker discarded this way. So if you generated a bunch of scheme markers, somebody. you could in theory like push them all up to six. And that one is also a zero. Which so is, she's choosing between that. So like, oh, I, I have a bunch of scheme markers from last turn. Okay, I want to I want to shove Nikima down your throat. Or I mean, when you again look at, I keep going back to them because they're just so good at placing markers. Mm -hmm. All of her other minions, they're going to be placing markers when they attack stuff, mm -hmm. which means Titania can then use those to push other models mm -hmm. and keep everybody relevant. Yeah. Uh, do you think we should go into her totem, or do you think we should just go Sure, let's go over it real quick. It's yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The, the Gorar, it's another fey. It's a three-cost uh, totem, and it is a peon. And yeah. it is insignificant, so yeah. Uh, defense six, willpower five, four wounds, walk of six, charge of seven, height of two. So it's pretty quick with yeah. that walk six. Um, for one of its abilities, it's for Malifa we are born. That's the main ability. Yeah, that's one of the re that's just the reason why you take it. Yeah. Uh, when a friendly minion model is killed or sacrificed by an enemy attack action, if this model is within six of the center of the board, you may summon the the model that was killed or sacrificed into base contact with this model, then sacrifice this model. So you have to be near the center of the board. Right. So the goer. With its six move, yeah. it, it goes boom boom, yeah. easily gets within range. Yeah. And yeah. It's and pretty much it's a it's a murder, like, okay, I lose one of my thorn guys. Alright, well let's right. like you, I you lose the thorn or the claw or the mm -hmm. I can't remember the last one all. Sacrifice into base contact. And then you saw you you place them all in base contact with it. Yeah. And it is a forty millimeter model, so you do have some quite yeah. a bit of And I mean it could even be an illuminated. If, yeah. like, you took Illuminated, they're strong minions, and mm -hmm. they're running around, man somebody manages to kill one, yeah. maybe it's your last minion, and you're like, oh shit, I really need a durable minion yeah. to prevent hunting and party, party. Yeah. for free. Of course, that's likely not going to happen, but yeah, he's still there for whatever minion it happens um, to be. It has Companion, so after, you know, how Companion works, it's yeah. unimpeded. It can activate after somebody else. And yeah. it's insignificant, as most totems are. Uh, for its attack action, it has Wicked Silence, uh, four and a mask. Ah, yeah, like her. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Of course, it's casting four. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's resist willpower and it's range two. Um, so it's exactly it's like hers. Right, to drop a scheme marker and deal them two damage. Yeah, but it's four though, which is really... But it's still, it's still a way that an insignificant peon can drop a scheme marker. Yeah. I may actually place a scheme marker in base contact. Hey, in theory, you could target one of your allies if, it, if you're really desperate mm -hmm. 
Is this game American base contact with target enemy model? Oh, it's enemy model, so you can't target enemy too. model. Yeah. Damn. Thank you for catching that. No problem. Uh, the serpent's call casting for resist willpower range hit. Target model with the slow condition gains the paralyzed condition. So, so you have to have slow, and then you have to you have to cast this, and they have to fail their willpower duel. So a lot of stuff has to be aligned, which is like a lot of totems. Its main point that. Like, its ability to revive a dead minion... That's why you take ...is automatic. Attack. Like, yeah. that's automatic and the main point. Yeah. Everything else is a bonus. Yeah. It's like that time I killed, um... I can't remember his name. Uh, Bishop with the Primordial Magic. Mm -hmm. Like, it just happened. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh shit, this is... It's a nice little boon. Right? Yeah. But, uh, I'm not gonna rely you, on Yeah, that you're gonna take stuff. it just for... Its, uh, but then your opponent's going to know about but, it. But, I mean, imagine, like, somebody runs up a Teddy or an Ice Golem with crappy defense. Mm -hmm. Or, no, that's willpower. Something, uh, a nurse with crappy willpower. Mm -hmm. Like, four willpower to four casting, that's a good chance to drop a scheme marker next to that nurse. Yeah. You know, I mean... I mean it's, yeah, it, it's... It, like we were saying, it's not the primary, but it's Yeah, there. you're not going to you're not going to be doing it like, oh, I'm going to take the, the Gore for Wicked Silence. No, you're taking it for... Right. From Alpha, we are born. So, um, and if you're not going to use those, Neverborn have one of the best generalist totems. Oh yeah. So oh yeah. Primordial it is competing magic. with primordial magic Which for is rush cheaper. of magic. But then the thing about it is, like the gore, you you have you can't just like with the primordial magic. I'm not gonna just hide in the corner and hope. Yeah, the goer does have to. You have to advance, move it, and then your opponents will be like, huh. Well, like, and that's why it, it depending might, on terrain, depending on terrain, it might not make it up to that position on turn one. Yeah. If everybody else isn't close enough mm -hmm. to cover him, but then you don't you might hold back. But also the nice thing about this, let's say you have a hyper aggressive minion that you throw like way across the board. Yeah, if you slingshot somebody turn one and yeah, and then you have the option to bring it back into the center of the board. That's the, that's the nice advantage of it. Um, and I I would say like the core you would bring if uh, if terrain was favorable. Yeah. If the terrain was very so, favorable, you, you can hide him so behind a building. That, that's her totem. We can look yeah. at her upgrades. Yeah. Let's go upgrade. I, lo I love these the models. I love these models. They're really cool looking. Mm -hmm. um, doo -doo -doo -doo, Titania. So we'll go to... She doesn't have any limited. Nope. No. Okay. So, she can so we'll just go, Behold my glory. This model gains the following trigger to all its attack actions. All of them. And she has a built-in mask with all of her uh, mm. attack actions. Uh, after succeeding the, succeeding the target gains the following condition until the end of this next activation. She will end us all. If the spell declares an attack action that does not target an enemy Titania, the action immediately fails. Uh, the small discards two cards. So you have to, with this, with this... Uh, okay, you have to attack her or discard two cards to attack somebody else. Oh, man. So she does her Queen's Command at 8-inch range yeah. to do something to you. Yeah. Maybe she shoved... Maybe she, So she does Queen's Command, she shoves a model in your face, and now you have to attack me unless you discard two cards to Tanya. Well, Not no, the model I shoved into your face. Yeah. No, uh, oh, yeah, you're right. So you have to discard two cards... Or attack, or go after Titania. Right. So Nakima oh just got shoved into your face, and you can't strike back easily. Like now, that's that's how you deal with Masaki. Yeah. Hit Masaki with that. Shove a model into her face that she now has huge trouble attacking. And then for each attack action, you have to discard two cards. Right. Very similar to like the Mister, like with Masaki with misdirection. Like if I want to hit you. Right. If you're trying to hit Masaki, you got to discard in order to oh, do man. in order not to. Get redirected into your own That's guys. That's really good for one and one soul stone, guys. Yeah. One soul stone. Uh, the audience with the queen. Ah, that's another. This model gains the following attack action. Another attack action for her. an audience with the queen. Casting six with a built-in mask and need to make a target number thirteen mask duel, which you so you only need a seven. Yep. For it to go. A seven and beat their willpower range. And eight. place target non-leader enemy model in base contact with this model. Placement. Oh my god. So non master placed it's in the cast of down. six, too. And then with a, uh, uh, a tomes, a trophy for well, dot dot dot. Me? After succeeding and completing the placement, place a ski marker in base contact with the target. So, so um, what that trigger is referring to is all of her minions uh -huh. have on a tome, they have a trophy for the queen. Uh -huh. Which drops a scheme marker in base contact. <laughs> she has a trophy 
Well, for me. Yeah. And she places one. Oh she's my the queen. god! And then you get ski markers. So, and then for her abilities, when she attacks, you can use those ski markers to increase the damage. So you bring somebody to you, and you place a ski marker, and suddenly, wow! For all of her abilities, they have a ski marker next to them. That's really. That's really. Now, of course, the only way she has to do that is through this one action. Yeah. But it's still not bad. So in theory, she can like, okay, I'm gonna bring this model, I'm gonna bring this model, and this model. She could bring multiple models, and then she could use her thing where she does her burst, mm -hmm. and they have to make a willpower duel or get more scheme markers. Yep. Um, I mean, you're gonna have three models in base contact, so I hope they're not able to do a whole lot of damage. But yeah, I'm gonna bring. Links or if they've already bring, activated. Yeah, I'm gonna bring another... Langston. I'm gonna bring Joss. I'm gonna bring Taylor into my face. Uh, no. no. Um, so the forest claims all. The small gains the following ability. Force claims all. Whenever a corpse or scrap marker is placed within four, regardless of line of sight, by an enemy model, including markers dropped when an enemy model is killed, the opposing player may discard a card. The if opposing player may discard a card. If they don't... If she, if she does not, this model may place a ski marker in base contact with the corpse or scrap marker and then discard the corpse or scrap marker. So... Uh, a lot more situational, I think. Well, oh, okay. Yes and no. So, it's always useful in the fact that it generates you more ski markers. Yes. It turns when Which people die... Which is what die, the spiel is to generate ski markers. However, it's super good if you're dealing with a summoner who wants those, or anybody who uses that resource. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're like... You know, you run... Now, this is within four of Titania, right? Mm -hmm. So you'd have to run her into their face, which could be very dangerous, mm -hmm. but... Just but she having... could probably take it. I mean, she's... Impossible. Yes and no. Yeah. Like, it just depends what she's getting thrown into. Yeah. So, but, yeah, her ability to turn those over unless they discard cards is great. And so those were all one upgrades. And this is her two It upgrades. costs two. The Queen's Champion. Oh. When another friendly model kills an enemy model with an attack action, if this upgrade is attached to Titania, you may discard a Soul Stone. If you, if you do not, discard this upgrade from Titania and attach it to... Attacking friendly model regardless of restrictions. So, when another model uh, kills, right? Mm -hmm. It is. It has to kill. When an another enemy. friendly model kills an enemy model. So when they kill an enemy, mm -hmm. the uh, the upgrade automatically goes to them unless you spend a soul stone to stop it. Mm -hmm. It will automatically go to them. Then they get this so, upgrade. So armor one, and so and only all a non master gets these. Yes. If it's attached to Titania, none of these are happening. Yeah, yeah. It's only it asked me to. Uh, so your it. first model to kill an enemy. Yeah. Will. So get this armor one reduce all damage suffered by this model by one. The queen's champion. The small gains plus two attack flips it makes, and gifts to my queen. After damaging one or more enemy models with an attack action, place a ski marker in base contact with each model damaged by this attack action. Oh my god. Uh, yep. So when you hit so, something... So every time an attack action damages an enemy, mm -hmm. no matter how many are uh, damaged by the attack action, um, I'm they all get... Why don't we go into the, the Fey upgrade right now? Yeah, we just can look at that real quick. All friendly Fey models within Tain gain the following ability. It's a defensive and defense and willpower trigger with a mask. Yep. Forest hides us. After resolving an attack action against this model, this model may discard target friendly scheme marker within three... To push up to three in any direction. And all... Which, huh, what is this crew good... What was Faye really good at? Generating scheme markers. Yes. And her three unique minions have the mask built into their defense. Oh my god. And does she have it too? No, no she does not have it built, in. built in. But still, I mean... <clears throat> so, now that we got a general... Like, with her upgrades, Titania's all about scheme marker generation. Well, not entirely. Not entirely, she has, but like, she has board control too. Yeah. Her her um, audience with the queen and bloody command. Yeah. Her ability to move people around. So which? Uh, but like, yes, scheme. She she needs to generate scheme markers and lots of them. Um, uh, I'm I'm thinking, for me, the ones I really do like an audience with the queen, phenomenal for one soul stone, that ability to bring models to her, and. Uh, and with a tomes to be able to place a scheme marker in base contact with him, and yeah. it's it's, I behold my glory, gains condition, and I behold my glory is another really good one. Yeah, that trigger. 
I'm solid. not. I'm not. I'm not too keen on Queen. Sh I mean, Queen Champion. It's really good. It's well, good. Here's the other thing, though, is she can. She has ways to control who gets that first kill. Yes, that's the important. Being thing able to, to bring walls in and because then. right, she uses that um, bloody command. Mm -hmm. She uses bloody command if she gets the trigger to push them and let somebody else attack. Mm -hmm. You know, she can like we keep talking about Nakima just because she is the best. Biggest beater in the faction. To give it armor one? Well, first, you're sending them all to her. Yeah. And then she gets it the free attack, and then she activates, she finishes it off. Mm -hmm. She grabs armor one, positive to all attack flips, and dropping and She already markers. has positive attack to all her attack flips. No, I, I think that's something we messed up when we first started playing. What was it? Oh, okay. But, yeah, she's already got this great attack. Yeah. And... Although for the second part, it, the fact that it, or the last part, After the fact David. that it has to be an attack action is important. Mm -hmm. Because she's got her blood for blood, where she can bleed on everybody, yeah. and that does not generate uh, markers. Because black blood is not technically an attack, it's an ability. Yeah. But, still. Um, force claims all. It's okay. I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, it's got its uses. It's, 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 if you're playing a summoner master... Yeah, or just where you think you're going to be shoving her uh, down their throat. Titania's, Titania goes away from a lot of what a good majority of uh, what Neverborn is. Because well, Neverborn yeah. is usually, like, they're glass hammers. Not every single one. A lot one, of but that. They're, like, look at Lilith is pretty classic Neverborn. She's got yeah. a really strong attack. She's got some cool abilities that do other things, not attacking. Mm -hmm. Hell, those are probably her primary things. Mm -hmm. But... You look at her, defense 7, willpower 5, 10 wounds. Like, 10 wounds is the minimum mm -hmm. that a master has. Very few have Except less. Uh, okay. uh, but McKay in theory, yes, 16, though. <laughs> but, exactly. Yeah. She's she's so frail once you actually start busting through that. Mm -hmm. Like, then meanwhile... So, Titania! <laughs> she's com complete opposite. And she is really tough. Yeah. Self-healing. Mm -hmm. um, and Light to be able to get wherever she needs to go. She... And the weird thing is, she really can't beat on you herself. Mm -hmm. Like, don't get me wrong, she'll set up the board where you're gonna take a lot of damage unless you can cheat a lot of cards. Or if but... you put, if you, like, if you, with her, with her and her minions, dropping scheme markers, and if you put her in yeah. the proper position, where she's within, like, two or three scheme markers... But that's still, she's one of those, she's not really gonna be able to do a whole lot of damage till turn two or three. Yes. And that's one of those things, actually, she could really surprise you mm -hmm. in, like, maybe you've, maybe the opponent has the winning hand, mm -hmm. but her crew has softened you up and placed enough scheme markers that she's just like, all right, mm -hmm. time to finish you up, bam, 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 and just, yeah. like, dropping all the damage Yeah. by dropping all the scheme markers. Um, so I like to talk a lot. She's really... Yeah. Very nifty. And like we've said, with filling in gaps, she is just fills in something that Everborn couldn't really do, and that was specifically scheme marker manipulation. They yeah. had some trouble. Yeah, because like, like probably the only one who would maybe good is the fact that the dreamer mm -hmm. can give out actions and summon good scheme runners. But you know that's different from being really good at it. Yeah, like she she when it comes to scheme marker manipulation, phenomenal. Right. Um. Probably. Pro probably not quite as good, uh, but second to Colette. Like yeah. She's probably second to Colette. Yeah. Like, but to the ability to generate scheme markers. Because she just generates a lot of them. She can't control where they are as well. That's yeah. probably the only reason she's second. She ha A lot of her stuff requires you to hit the enemy, yes. rather than being able to just do interacts as zeros. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's very good at getting them out there. Yeah. Alright, uh, so why don't we go into her... All the brand new minions she brings into the game. Yeah, and at first her and her henchman. Her, her henchman.